Well, listen, in the uh, previous sessions, we discussed about the load flow analysis using Gauss-Seidel method. The Gauss-Seidel method is the easiest method that you can uh, uh, achieve the results, right? And the next thing uh, what we discussed was the newton raphson method. Uh, this is the complex method, uh, right? Uh, I think uh, you uh, experienced about the calculations what we discussed in the previous session. It is having a big complex calculation, but it is having some advantage. Uh, so what are, we, what are the results we are getting from the newton raphson method? It is very, very accurate. Uh, right, but uh, the gauss seidel method, even though the calculations are very simple, uh, but uh, it is not at all accurate. Right, to get some uh, solutions uh, for a particular system, the gauss seidel method, it will take more iterations. So, if it is taking more iteration, the time consumption is also very high. And if you are doing the mathematical analysis manually, uh, it is very difficult if you are going for 10, 20 iterations like that. Uh, so the newton raphson method, it is the complex method, but we can get the results within one or two iterations normally. Uh, sometimes if it is a bigger system, then uh, the manual calculation is not at all easy. Right? Instead, uh, uh, we need some uh, programming uh, languages to get the uh, results or some analytical tools to get the results. Right, and uh, the next thing is the decoupled Newton Raphson method. So, what exactly the decoupled Newton Raphson method? Listen, it is very similar to the Newton Raphson method, but some variations in the algorithm of Newton Raphson method that we are going to discuss in this particular. Uh, session, right? That is the decoupled Newton Raphson method. So, the main thing involved in the Newton Raphson method is the Jacobian matrix, right? I hope uh, you understood uh, from the previous session. So, the two things Newton Raphson says about uh, the load flow parameters one is that is uh, uh, the rules given by the Newton Raphson method according to according to Newton Raphson. He is telling the two proportionals that is very important for the analysis. One is the change in real power that is directly proportional to change in rotor angle. This is the one he given. And the next thing is the change in reactive power that is directly proportional to change in voltage. Listen carefully. So here the changes are given. Uh, why? Because I should say clearly about uh, the variations, uh, right, of uh, the real power and the reactive powers, etc. So we know that change in real power is directly proportional to change in uh, rotor angle, change in reactive power is directly proportional to change in uh, voltage. Right now, the Jacobian matrix formation, that also I want to explain again. Jacobian matrix. So the generalized Jacobian matrix, how we can form means by using this real power and the reactive power. So, this side we used to write, that is the left hand side, we used to write this change in real power and the change in reactive power. And this side we can write change in a road triangular phase angle and change in voltage because these are directly proportional. All right. And here, I don't know why you put. This is Q, not Q2, right. And here, so 
So inside uh, we are having the partial differential terms that is change in real power with respect to this is real power with respect to change in angle dou p by dou del. And next thing is this one is dou p divided by dou v. And here once again we write that is do q right that is the term divided by since q is there divided by total and similarly do q divided by do v so this is what uh, the jacobian the generalized Jacob, jacobian matrix we got it from the uh, newton raphson method right now what we want to do means uh, uh, see, we see, we know that the real power is directly proportional to a rotor angle. All right. Therefore, here this term is okay. That is a real power. That is a p is a directly proportional to rotor angle. This is okay. See, similarly, the change in reactive power. Uh, sorry, real power is directly proportional to rotor angle. Right? A change in reactive power is a directly proportional to voltage. So here you can see that the fourth term. This is also okay. But you can see the real power with respect to voltage. See, if the real power is not changing with respect to voltage, it means it will be constant, right? So these two terms you can take. There is a dou P by dou V and dou Q divided by dou del. So listen, P is, that is a real power P is, constant actually right constant with respect to v see the p, p is uh, directly proportional with respect to del that means if del is changing p will be changed or p is changing del will be changed i hope you understood right uh, but p is constant with respect to v Therefore, how this will be? If you are differentiating a constant term, it becomes zero. Am I right? So, therefore, we can write, therefore, dou P divided by dou V that is equal to zero. Right? That is the one uh, uh, important thing we need to analyze. Right? And the next thing is, similarly, we know that Q, the term Q is constant. with respect to with respect to what del right that is uh, face uh, face angle or rotor angle therefore if the q is constant and if you are differentiating a constant with respect to del then that also becomes zero right therefore do q divided by do del that also becomes zero right so these two things holds good. That is, uh, this becomes zero and this becomes zero. Now, the modified Jacobian matrix that we called it as the decoupled, right? Therefore, since it is coupled inside, we are having all those terms. That is, the dou p by dou del. That is good. But dou p by dou v is also coming. Dou q by dou del and the dou q by dou v. And uh, this is okay. But this thing that is dou q by dou del is not okay since those things are zero. So, in the decoupled newton raphson method, what we are doing means we need to take out this terms that is dou p by dou v and dou q by dou del because there is uh, no sense if you are including that. Right? Even though if you are including, the value becomes zero or negligible. Right? Then we, why you want to include? Right? That's why we decouple the Jacobian matrix also decoupled. So, now what we are writing means... Uh, so by uh, by taking these concepts in mind, so the newton raphson method is now modified, right? So we call it as a decoupled, right? By by a decoupled in our. which implies here also we are writing uh, that is a change in p that is a directly proportional to change in 
del but how we are writing means del p that is equal to do p divided by do del listen carefully this is also a matrix this is also a matrix and multiplied by do change in del all right so this is one and how we are writing the reactive power means you can see that do q sorry change in uh, q that is equal to do q divided by do v multiplied by change in v my listen now how many partial fractions are here you are having in the newton raphson that is four partial fractional terms are there that is a do p by do del do p by do v do q by do del and do q by do v now what we did while decoupled now it was simplified actually so that is the main advantage while you are de decoupling right therefore the uh, four terms it, it will be string into two terms that means off all right therefore change in p is there uh, change in q is there and if you want to find the change in del and change in v then it will be decoupled right so uh, here you can see that it was coupled uh, in a single matrix uh, but here it is a decoupled that's why uh, that is the changes in the decoupled newton raphson method so all other procedures uh, of a decoupled newton raphson method it is uh, similar uh, when compared to the newton raphson method right uh, so we can take uh, the same problem uh, the, if you are having the previous uh, problems with you uh, we can solve by using this uh, decoupled newton raphson method also it will be much easier uh, so the first step is to find out the y bus uh, second step is to find out uh, uh, the parameter there is change in p change in q etc all right so i am giving one uh, problem now to solve using decoupled newton raphson method right so just i am giving a problem is a very a simple problem to uh, understand all right using uh, decoupled newton raphson method that is find 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 the voltage of bus 2 at the end of iteration at the end of iteration 1 using decoupled nr method so how we can find we can uh, check the inputs i am going to give Uh, so i am giving some inputs it is a two bus system i am giving like the bus number here it is 1 and here it is 2 and uh, the load flow parameters we know that real power reactive power voltage and phase angle the first bus there is no real power and reactive power the voltage they given it as 1 and the phase angle they given it as 0 So instead of one, normally it won't be one. Some values will be there. So I'm putting one point zero four. The a second bus, the real power value is given. That is equal to one, and the reactive power value is given. That is equal to point five, and the voltage is not given. Phase angle is not given. Listen. Uh, so uh, from these uh, inputs, you know that it is a two bus system, right? Because I given only uh, the two values. All right and here you can see that this is the uh, bus number 1 and 2 and here we are having real power reactive power voltage and phase angle 
uh, right uh, so first bus is a slack bus so the bus type if you want, if you, want you can write here bus type sometimes they may give otherwise you need to um, write it uh, first one is a slack bus so normally it will be a slack bus and the second bus it is a pq bus or load bus you can see that it is a pq bus or load bus why because the real power and the reactive powers were given All right so now uh, it is a y bus that is also given as input you can see that y bus that is given us So listen, it is a two bus system. Uh, so here they given the uh, value of Y11, 12, 13, 14, it is given. So you need to uh, convert it into uh, angle, right? So if you are converting this into angle, uh, how can, how the values are, can you tell me? That is 10J means how we can uh, convert. This is in terms of A plus IB in the Newton direction. We need all the values uh, values in terms of R comma theta, right? So how can you convert this rectangular form to polar form? So here, uh, what is the real power value? This one, yeah, here, a uh, 10 and 2J, 10J is given, right? So it becomes 10 angle 90. So normally it is minus, sorry, I forget to put minus. So it becomes 10 angle minus 90. I think if you're having a calculators with you directly, you can put it, right? If you're having a complex calculators with you, directly you can put, that is 10 angle minus 90 degree and here it is two angle 90 degree and here again it is two angle 90 degrees and here it is five angle minus 90 degree right uh, so this is what the input value is given right the y was directly given and you need to find uh, uh, the voltage at bus 2 right bus 2 the voltage you need to find that is how we can find by using this uh, decoupled newton raphson we are going to find out all right uh, so the decoupled newton raphson if you want to find the voltage it is telling very clearly that is the uh, uh, change in real power that is a directly proportional to change in voltage or change in real power that is equal to do p divided by uh, do sorry i made it wrong i think so not voltage right change in uh, real power is a directly proportional to change in phase angle and similarly change in reactive power is a direct directly proportional to change in voltage so once you know this you need this uh, reactive power also so change in reactive power we can write that is equal to do q divided by do v right so these are all the matrix actually multiplied by two del b right now what we have to do means we have to find the change in q and uh, once you know once you know this change in q then immediately we can find this change in v right 
So we need uh, the values of the bus two, right? Therefore, what we are going to do means at bus two, which implies we are going to find this change in Q. Therefore, at bus two, I is equal to two, right? In the generalized formula, we know that uh, that is Q, that is change in Q is equal to, or uh, change in QI is equal to QI specified, right? Minus QI calculated. I hope you know that, know this formula. Uh, previously a given while we are solving this newton raphson method this is a decoupled newton raphson method here i is equal to 2 that is change in q2 that is equal to q2 specified minus q2 calculated right simply written like this i hope you can understand the abbreviations are there yes specified q2 it is given in the problem we can get it q2 q2 specified that is equal to what is the value they given in the q2 specified that is 0.5 they given so you can write it as 0.5 that is 0 0.5 right and now uh, we need q2 calculated that you are having the formula that is q I calculated that is equal to QI calculated is equal to minus sigma J is equal to 1 to N VI VJ YIJ right since it is Q sine of theta IJ plus del J minus del I right so now a simple substitution only this theta and all you can get it directly from y bus so it is a two bus system right easily you can uh, uh, expand it that is here q2 calculator right that is q2 calculated that is equal to i is equal to 2 that is v2 v1 y21 v2 v1 y21 that is sine theta 21 plus del 1 minus del 2 since minus is there here also I'm putting minus 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 here minus is there minus of again v2 again v2 into v2 v2 square y22 sin theta 22 here del 2 and del 2 will cancel each other right if you want you can put uh, plus del 2 minus del 2 anyway it will cancel each other let us move to the uh, next step for substitution that is equal to minus of so here uh, v2 value we need to put uh, this is second bus v2 is not given that is what we need to find out so if you want to find uh, the value and it is not given means what we have to do means uh, just to substitute the flat voltage all right according to the algorithm so already we seen the algorithm that is equal to one flat voltage and v1 value is given in the problem that is 1.04 multiplied by y21 value is given in the problem that is uh, two right that is multiplied by two and multiplied by sine of uh, theta 2 1 all right uh, the angle of 2 1 that is equal to 90 uh, I think you may know about the value of a sine 90 that is 90 that is a del 1 and del 2 we don't want to put why because the values are 0 it was specified similarly v2 square that is 1 square into and y22 we need y22 value is uh, 5 and the angle is uh, minus 90 all right that is multiplied by 5 multiplied by sine of minus 90 all right so we are uh, we substituted all the values and now 
will tell me the result for this. I don't see know this easily. We can now find out uh, the other required values. Can you please find out? I'll be waiting for another two minutes. Please make it. So please check the answer whether you're getting the same answer. Yes, I got uh, two point six one only. <clears throat> I hope you will also get the same uh, value for uh, Q two. That is Q two calculated. Q two calculated value is equal to two point six one for this problem. Right? Once you know this Q two calculated, you can find uh, del Q two. That is del Q two is equal to that is Q two specified. Minus Q2 calculated. Uh, so specified value is 0.5. Minus calculated value is 2.61. So you will get. Two point one one you will get. So that is equal to. 2.11 that is a del q2 right so this value also we find out now uh, we need to find uh, do q2 because uh, we can write the decoupled uh, form so that easily you can understand so according to uh, the decoupled newton raphson method what actually it is telling means uh, that is Change in Q2, right? Change in Q2 that is equal to do Q2 divided by do V2 multiplied by change in V2. Now listen, we need to find this one only, right? Change in V2. Uh, for that, uh, this one change in Q2 we found out. Uh, now we need to find the change in Q2 that is do Q2 divided by uh, do V2 we need to find right how will how can we can find how can we find let us see that is from the Q2 calculated we have to uh, find do uh, Q2 with respect to V2 see both the term V2 is there and uh, all other terms will be same that is minus of minus of V2 minus of v2 let us see at the top yeah, minus of v2 you can see this uh, uh, form that is q2 calculated listen from that only i am uh, taking do q2 divided by do v2 right if you are uh, differentiating this term first term you can see all other terms are uh, constant right and uh, only v2 is there 
uh, right? And uh, the uh, differentiation of that V2 with respect to V2 is it is 1. Therefore, what will come? That is uh, B1 into is B1 into Y21 sine of uh, theta21 plus del1 minus del2 minus of C2 uh, V square is there the differentiation of uh, V square with respect to V2 that is 2 V2 into Y22 sine of theta22 plus plus del2 minus del2 anyway it becomes zero so what we can do means just we simplify it otherwise we can directly substitute the values that is equal to v1 value we know that that is minus of uh, 1.04 multiplied by and y21 value also we know that right y21 value is 2 right from the y bus we need to take uh, we can check what is y21. Yes, y21 value is 2 and uh, y22 value is 5. So we are going to substitute that here. That is minus uh, 1.04 uh, into 2. That is y21 is 2, right? 2 into sine and here theta to 1 is 90 degree that is minus 2 into uh, v2 value is again 1 multiplied by y2 to value is uh, again 5 into sine theta to 2 value is minus 90 and the rest of the value becomes 0. Uh, now you simplify this one you can calculate Let's put it in your calculator directly. You will get the answer. You no need uh, complex calculators also. Even if you are having calculators in the mobile, you can put it. So it will be easy. That is minus 1.04 uh, multiplied by 2. Right? Two point zero eight. Is what is the value of minus minus or plus? It will be minus, right? Or plus? Minus 2.08. Yes, minus 2.08. Good. Uh, please others check whether we are getting the same value. Even I am also checking the same. So please check the answers carefully. I think it is not minus 2, it will be minus 7, something it is coming. Seven point nine two. Minus 2.08 it's sine 90 minus 10 sine of minus 8. Okay, that value is for me. I'm getting 7.08. You check your answers. Oh, I could use this. This. 7.08. Do you check the answer, Ma? I got the answer like this. So, 
So now you can substitute all those things here uh, in that formulation that is uh, change in Q2. Uh, tell me if you are getting some other values, right? Because I substituted in the calculator, I got the value as uh, 7.08, right? right? If you are getting other values, put that one. Uh, that is change in Q2, it is given it as 2.11, that is equal to uh, that is change in Q2 divided by V2 that is equal to 7.08 and that is multiplied by that is change in V2, right? Change in V2. Malison, now you can get the change in V2, the value. So change in V2 is equal to from this that is equal to 2.11 divided by 7.08. Uh, tell me what is the value you are getting. 2.11 divided by 7.08 and uh, the value is 0 0.298 that is change in V2. So you got the value from the decoupled uh, but it is not over. We need uh, the V2 new value, right? The new value of V2 that is V2 new is equal to, that is V2 old plus change in V2, that is equal to V2 old means the given value, all right? Given value of V2, we, we don't know, that is the assumed value, right? Assumed value, we take it as one, because you can see the problem, V2 value is not given, the assumed value, we taken it as one, the same we are going to substitute here, Therefore, that is equal to 1 plus 0 0.298. So, at the end of the iteration 1, that is V2 new value is equal to 1.298. Yes. So, this is how we can calculate uh, this value. Right. So, I hope uh, you can understand. If you want, I will explain this again. Uh, these steps, please listen. It will be very easy. Uh, so, when compared to the uh, Newton Raphson method, it is a decoupled Newton Raphson method. Uh, yeah, I will tell you what is the difference. Now, listen, in the Newton Raphson method, you are having a Jacobian matrix like this. It will be coupled each other. All the real power, reactive power, voltage, and phase angle will be coupled each other. But we know that only this real power will change with respect to angle, right? But the real power will not change with respect to voltage. Uh, therefore, according to Newton Raphson, yeah, this becomes zero. Something uh, constant, and uh, we are differentiating that constant, it becomes zero. And similarly, here also this time becomes constant, it becomes zero. Therefore, in the uh, decoupled Newton Raphson method, you can see that these two terms will be omitted and the other two terms were taken. All right, that the change in P and change in Q and the directional things were taken. And uh, the same we proved here in the uh, problem, uh, right, in the uh, fast, uh, this is not fast, the decoupled Newton Raphson method. Uh, what we are doing means the two bus system we taken. And in the problem it was given, uh, find the voltage at the bus 2, right? This is the second bus, the voltage is unknown. So our aim is to find out the voltage, the, since it is the bus 2, we call it as V suffix 2, right? So uh, for this, uh, we need uh, uh, this analysis of uh, decoupled Newton Raphson method, right? So these are the inputs. Uh, you can see the solution actually start from here. Uh, so up to that inputs will be there. Right, you can write the solution. Uh, so, listen. Uh, so, this so Y bus is also given as an input. This is also input. But uh, this is a Newton Raphson method. Always uh, we need uh, in a polar form. That's why we convert this into polar form first. Then, what we did means we need to find out this value, especially we need this voltage. Right, voltage means the proportional. Uh, value is given as the reactive power, uh, right, for uh, the bus I is equal to 2, right, since the bus I is equal to 2, uh, uh, we need to find out the change in uh, Q, uh, right, that is Q2 specified minus Q2 calculated, uh, since it is bus 2, right, and specified means the value is given, calculated value, we need to use this formula, right, 
So this is not a, a surprise or a new formula. This we got it uh, from uh, the normal uh, the real power and the reactive power formula, right? In the real power, you write it as uh, uh, V cos pi, and I will be replaced by uh, V square by Z uh, cos pi. Also, we can write or V square into uh, y cos pi and similarly here it is v square by z into sin uh, pi or v square into y into sin pi see here v square is there y is there sin is there right the same formula here all uh, right and what we are doing means we substitute the value we expanded uh, since the two buses are there this is for bus one bus two it was expanded and we uh, substituted all the values but listen here the, here the theta stands for the angle uh, from the y bus right uh, the y bus you can see the angle uh, so it is given uh, so here you have to put the uh, corresponding angle and if the v2 value is not given uh, just you need to substitute the flat voltage flat voltage means one per unit or one, uh, one plus j0 or one angle zero right anything we can put it all right, here I substituted one and I calculated the value that is 2.61. Uh, this change in Q2 means the Q2 specified minus Q2 calculated. Q2 calculated is this value, specified is given 0.5 in the problem and we found out uh, the change in Q2. And now we are substituting the change in Q2 is with respect to change in V, uh, that is V2. Uh, we can see that, so this is the differential value. Uh, so from that we can get, we arrived, uh, just we differentiated, that is how we differentiated means the Q2 value is here, you can see that, that is Q2 with respect to V2 differentiated, therefore the first term V2, if you are differentiating uh, V2 with respect to V2, it will be 1, and here V2 with respect to V2, it is 2 V2, right, therefore 2 V2 is there, uh, so other things are uh, same, uh, right, uh, I hope everything is uh, perfect. All right, and we substituted uh, those things that is uh, theta del because del values are zero, so we, I didn't take on that. Right, even if you're uh, putting zero, that it won't make any sense. Uh, right, and the next thing is, uh, yeah, we found out uh, dou q2 by v2, and now this is a simple substitution uh, in this relation. That is a, a change in q2 is 2.11. Already we found out here. Right here it is. And next thing is a change in Q2 with respect to V2, uh, that is also we found out, that is 7.08, from that we found out change in V2, alright. And a change in V2 we find out, then we need uh, the new value, uh, the updated value is equal to old plus change in V2, alright. This is uh, as per the algorithm, and as per the algorithm we got the new value is 1.298 at the end of the iteration 1. Right, maybe uh, the iteration uh, uh, going more and more, the values uh, become uh, varies. Otherwise, this will be the value at the end of iteration. I hope you understood. If any doubts, you can ask me.